So the primary health system is about your dietary regimen first and foremost. Now I'll tell you at the end of his life, there is a report, someone told me personally, someone who knew him personally, he said, I overemphasized food. So at this point, I want to help you deconstruct these concepts and not just think about food, but think about nourishment. Contemplate what you expose yourself to. This can be TV, it can be radio shows, it can be podcasts, it can be people, anything that you read, anything that you're taking in. This is about your exposure to life, what you physically put in your body. Food is information. So are books, so are classes, so are courses, so are videos and movies and shows. We know that um, people who watch porn, as an example, you know, really, really bad for the health, the chaotic um, suffering of some of those things that we see out there that people are attracted to. It changes your wiring. I, I, I use the term porn because it's not nourishing. You know, it's usually a coping mechanism or a lack something someone has within them that they're trying to feel pleasure from, but it's a temporary thing that doesn't necessarily nourish the body. So this is about nourishment of your unconscious design. It's fueling your genetic potential. It's grounding you in this form. So being able to eat something that is truly nourishing for you is going to depend on primarily conditions and circumstances, how you take in life, not just food, but how you take in life. So even though we're talking about health system, your primary um, personal health system, always remember that this is your attunement to your body's sensation and sensitivity. And it's about nourishment of your individuation capacity your ability to be different, that's all, okay? So when we look forward into PHS, it's about enhancing your physical, innate differentiation potential. Again, digestion is about, in human design terms, we use the term determination. How is one determined to take in life? And experimenting with this dietary regimen means that you tune into your authority process, whatever your authority process happens to be for you. So your decision-making strategy and honoring your personal authority is going to help you determine how and when and what and in which way and with whom to take in life. So as you recognize the potential enhancements, as you go through this transformational shift, it's going to take time to get clear on some of these things. Even if you're a spontaneous authority, any of you who have cyclical um, tonal cognitions, you're going to take some time and uh, don't rush the process. Again, if you're getting too much discomfort in the body, back off, go back to doing whatever it is that you were normally doing so that you don't put yourself in a health or a healing crisis. I can remember doing that myself and um, I couldn't even work for a few months. I was, it felt like I was melting inside. My mind was um, really shattering. I was also going through living your design awakening at the same time as um, experimenting incorrectly and vigilantly, I might add, with my dietary regimen. And it was a, a horrible summer, I can remember that summer of just melting and it's like your mind is breaking or cracking and you don't know who you are anymore and you don't know what's real or what's true anymore. Because if you're going through this primary health system at the same time as deconstructing your mind's process of what it thinks it should be or who it identifies with, it can be a very uncomfortable experience if you're pushing too hard and too fast. And this is why we always recommend that you go through something like this in a group with people who are also going through the same experience and guided by somebody who knows the signposts and how to advise you as you're going through this process because it can be very complex down at the subtler levels. 